Don't you guys miss being a kid, man? I really fucking miss being a kid. I remember back when I didn't have any gaming consoles at my family home, I would go to my relatives' houses. Getty Images? Where the fuck am I? And they would have fucking, you know, back in the day, so they would have PS1s, Nintendo 64s. Man, I really miss that shit. And one of the games that I used to play at my aunt's house all the time on PS1 was none other than, you read the title, Twisted Metal 2. Now this is the original copy that my aunt used to have and the one that I used to play. No front manual. Um, I don't know where it went. I never saw it. Never in my life have seen it. And this disc, holy shit, man. Look at this disc. Before we get into the review, thanks for tuning in to another episode of The Ethan Show. Ethan. Shit. Um, if you guys haven't seen my Teleported to Florida video, Jumper Griffin story, um, Ethan got stranded in Florida. He got swept up by a wave, and I believe he got, he, he got stranded and swept over to Puerto Rico. He got chased by a tribes, a tribesman in the fucking jungle and he got eaten by Joey. If you haven't seen it, <laughs> it sounds dumb, but I, I don't know where Ethan is, man. If you haven't seen it, link is in the description. I'm trying to find Ethan still. Um, if you have any uh, info about where Ethan could possibly be, like if you live in Puerto Rico and you know, uh, leave an email at this email right here. I'd really appreciate that a lot because he's the homie. He's a main fucking part of the channel and I kind of need him here to help the channel grow. So, Twisted Metal 2, one of my many childhood games that I remember fondly of playing as a kid, and I'm sure a lot of you guys do too. This is one of those games that you just sit down, you fuck around, have a fun time. It's just one of those games where you can just turn your brain off, just play, and just kind of forget about the stress of life. But this is also one of the games as a kid that I was scared of. And it's definitely because of Sweet Tooth's laugh in the intro. <laughs> like, dude, tell me that isn't kind of creepy. And as a kid, clowns were kind of creepy. They were also kind of cool, especially Sweet Tooth. He's kind of a badass, but it was creepy to me. And also as a kid, the just the straight up the PlayStation 1 intro was scary to me. And I legit remember I would like close my eyes, I'd hide under blankets during the intro. I, I don't know why, man, but now that I look back at it, it is my all-time favorite console intro of all time. So you're probably asking, Brady, why aren't you starting with Twisted Metal 1? Well, honestly, I've never played Twisted Metal 1. Twisted Metal 2 is the one that I remember the most as a kid. And then I would say Twisted Metal Black is the one I played the most in my lifetime. And I also don't even have Twisted Metal 1. It's pretty fucking spendy. I will be getting it soon though. Maybe in the future I'll review some of the other Twisted Metals, but for now we'll do Twisted Metal 2. I'm sure you guys know what the game is about, but I'm gonna tell you a quick summary. So basically, this dude named Calypso runs a contest um, and he, he, you can enter as a driver and try to win. And if you win, you basically get one wish of any wish you want in your, in your life, man, from Calypso. And it's a car combat game, so you go against other cars that have machine guns, missiles strapped to their cars, and it's basically just f this fun fucking destruction, car destruction game, man. So, Twisted Metal 2, I would say, has the absolute best selection of characters in the whole series, man. It's really, really nice. There's a lot of variety, and you can see the characters all along the side of the box, or the back of the uh, case here. So, very nice selection. My all-time favorite in this game is Thumper. Um, I just absolutely love the special. It's fucking overpowered, and just a pink, I believe it's an Impala, 
Um, it's fucking amazing, man. It's, it's, it's really cool. And I, I honestly like the color pink, man. You can say what you want to say in the comments, but I like the color pink. Now the levels, the levels are very, very good. I really like the levels except for Moscow. Fuck Moscow. I hate that level. There's no ab, like there's basically no health pickups, basically no weapon pickups. And I know you can bring weapons in from past levels, but really there should be enough weapons on a map to be able to survive no matter what, man. And there's, and, and the level, like, they give you napalms. I don't want fucking napalms. Give me fire missiles. Give me homing. Um, they give you that, but the most things I get, at least me, is fucking napalms. I don't want no napalms, dude. Those things are trash. So the ones I remember playing as a kid, Field of Screams, Holland. I love that level. I played that one all the time as a kid in, a, what is it, challenge mode? Um, because I never beat the story mode. I never got to haul in, in the story mode. This game is too hard and a lot of people can agree This game is is way too hard man. Even on easy mode It's fucking hard dude. This is the hardest game I've ever played in my life And that's one of the downsides man. This game is way too hard So like I said, I have never beaten a single story mode in this game I have never seen an ending cutscene. I've seen them on YouTube but I myself have never beaten this game even one time. It's way too hard. Uh, after you get to, or after you beat Minion, even getting to Minion is fucking hard, man. But uh, once you get past Minion, dude, it's, it's just insane. Insanity, dude. Another thing that really doesn't help with the difficulty is the controls. And I think we can all agree the controls in this game are absolute garbage, man. They are so bad. I don't know if it's just me, but I can't use the analog stick on the PS1, and um, the D-pad is terrible when it comes to 3D games, <laughs> but you know, back in the day, I guess people made do with what they had, and they enjoyed it for what it is, but looking back at it now, it's very fucking bad, very bad. One thing for me, a problem I have, is when I try to do the freeze, uh, what is it, up, left, right, up, or whatever the, uh, the button inputs are, Sometimes it doesn't work like I'll clearly put the button input in, in right and then it just won't work and it works probably 50% of the time and man it's so annoying that I honestly don't even use it. Even though this game is fun, the replay value is pretty decent. Um, the controls just really set this game down man. Really, really set this game down. So the game is too hard, controls are terrible. Um, it's a free-for-all, really. I don't know exactly how many opponents are on each level, but it's a free-for-all at the end of the day. Yet the enemies only want to target you, which makes the game really stupid. It makes no sense, and it makes it really hard. The enemies will practically only target you, and when it comes to special moves and like freezes, um, they seem to have infinite amount of those and they spam you with it, and that in itself makes me not want to play this game ever again, man. It really doesn't. The controls don't help. The game difficulty doesn't help. Um, I mean, a lot of people are probably going to be salty and probably hate me in the comments for this, but it's my opinion, man. I honestly do not like this game. Yes, I played it a lot as a kid, and I have good memories of it as a kid, but I, today, <laughs> don't like it, man. I understand a lot of people nowadays think really highly of this game. And, you know, that's fine. That's your opinion. I appreciate it. I respect it. You know, everyone's got their own opinions. That's just life, man. And you got to suck it up when someone else has a different opinion than you. You know what I mean? Anyways, Twisted Metal 2. I have nothing else really to say about this game other than if the controls were better, this would probably be a top tier game. Even with the difficulty, if the controls were better, it would be a top tier game. And that's and that's no joke. Twisted Metal 2, definitely not my favorite. It honestly, not even come close to my favorite. I would rate this out of 10, since Ethan's not here to rate it with me. I'm still trying to find him. Um, but basically, I'm gonna rate this game, a, I'm gonna rate it a four out of 10 on the Ethan rating score. Four out of 10, that's probably the highest I could rate it. Um, I rarely come back to this game, man. Rarely come back to it. And it's kind of just lost to time in my eyes. Um, I don't really ever think about it anymore.
So let me know in the comments your opinion on Twisted Metal 2. I would like to know if you have a different opinion. If you want to argue with me about my opinion, I really don't care, man. Just let me know in the comments and let's have a conversation about it. And yeah, if you overall like the content on The Ethan Show, it's a straight up retro gaming. We do two uploads a week. Uh, we do Wednesday and Fridays around 1 p.m. Central Time. And if you really enjoy the content, please consider subscribing. I'm trying to hit um, a pretty big milestone by the end of the year. I'd rather not say because, you know, there's this thing that says if you tell people what your goals are, there's a less likely chance of you to achieve them. So I'd rather not tell you I want to achieve those goals. You know what I'm saying? And I see a lot of people enjoying the content I've been doing lately, especially on the jumper video. People say that the video is entertaining. People are saying really nice things about it. And man, it's all I could ever ask for, man. Um, my whole goal when it comes to doing videos is at the end of the day to entertain people. And I'm glad that I am delivering on that for a few people. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for the content. Dude, I'm losing my fucking mind. <laughs> thank you for the support. I really appreciate it, guys. And I'm gonna let you go. Uh, stay tuned for this Friday's Ethan Show episode around 1 p.m. Central Time. We'll see you there. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll catch you next time. Peace out.